still an opportunity for Dalloway to work. And now Parker sends it inside 50 to Staunton, who won her right boot. Instead gave the handball off. And the kick is beautiful towards the top of the goal square. And the Giants now very little distance to cover. And Doyle gives the Giants the perfect start. Parker very busy early to Smith. Deep inside 50. And that's been marked. Zarika had the sit. So far, game number 32. Keeps it low, keeps it straight, and the Giants have stunned the Lions early. And I think it's just he's brought a bit of fun back into the group, less serious and less complication of yep. things and just going off raw skill, which is great to see. And I think you show that effort, that seven tackles in the Ford 50. Kathy Spark explodes out of the opening centre bounce. Loves to run, loves to set the lines up from the defensive half. Speaking of players that love to run, Orla O'Dwyer takes grass, goes towards goal. That is an outstanding finish from Orla O'Dwyer. <laughs> Kathy Spark got it out to Anderson. Don't do it again, Orla O'Dwyer. She's found Wardlaw in the square, and she's starting to have an influence on this game, O'Dwyer. Playing against her old side. A few games for the Giants as Randall went up hard and he's favouring her knee. Anderson hoping for a lead, and it was a beautifully weighted kick as well. Bodie played on, snapped around the body, and kicked the goal. Bodie Licious from Greta. So here's the incident. So Bodie went up here, and then Randall landing. Oh. Inside 50, Grierson with Hodder, who kept her feet, did the team thing. That's brilliant. And Greta Bodie from directly in front. She's now got two goals each in her first two games of season seven. So we're talking about Tate Mackle. Her skills are elite in, in, those, in those situations. Garnett plays on and gets it to Parker, who's a little closer to goal and probably on an even better angle. She's won the Giants best and fairest the past three consecutive AFLW seasons. She's only 22 years of age, but she's already a star of this competition. Wardlaw dropped it, but then so clean at ground level. Sweeps the hand pass over the top to Bodie. And then Ruby Spark. She has a good look at the goals and sneaks it in. Lovely finish from Ruby. Dalloway on hands and knees. Farquharson Back out to O'Dwyer. Hicks came through. Bates on her favoured left. It's got there. Goal umpire gives it the all clear. And Emily Bates has her first of the game. Evans set a toss. Good bounce for Smith. Back to Ruby Spark. Deep into the arc. Smith applied the tackle. Fark was an outside the boot. They just running forward with authority. And Bates is going to get a second in a minute. She cannot be stopped. Play on and send it deep inside 50. Bates was tracking back, looking for a third goal. Getting greedy now, Bates. She tries to keep it in, does keep it in. Hodder, this is in very dangerous territory. Ran straight into the Tani Evans wall. Awesome tackle. O'Dwyer, a rare touch for her, and it's a good one to Anderson, and they've got plenty of space. Ellinger runs her full measure. Kicks a goal and nails it. They are a wonderful team to watch, these Brisbane Lions. Keep on top of themselves. There's Dalloway, won it out. Bodie. Farquharson snaps and piles on the pain for the Giants. Zimmy has her first. In the Giants forward line last year and hopefully we see her back in the next couple of weeks and, and Beck Beeson as well. You think about putting her into the Giants midfield yeah. and the likes of what they're able to do. It's, you know, things are only looking up for the Giants and their attacking style of football. Nice little crowd lifter here for the Giants. So many tackles on the wing and then a little tackle from Hodder. It's on behind the play. You know, there's going to be some great hype around the Swans with the men's team mm. going through to the, um, obviously the semi the semi-finals as well. So... It'll be, I'm sure, a great atmosphere at SCG. Great atmosphere at Mardica as Mowbray applies the tackle. The Brisbane pressure, though, has not relented. Mackerel sends it deep to the top of the goal square. Ball goes to the back. 
Greider saves the day. Just rushes it through for a behind. That stingy Brisbane defence at its best until the final siren.